Hello everyone, Professor Squatch here with part four of the Isle of Armor DLC for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We just finished the Slowpoke trial. Ooh, what's this? Berries, I've got your fresh picked berries. What do you say, interested in something? Oh, you can buy berries from her, okay. What's this guy got? Love to cook, you've come to the right place. Ingredients here. All right, so he's got ingredients, that's cool. So we got a little garden here with berries that you can buy. All right, let's go back in the dojo. We just finished the slowpoke trial where we had to chase down three Galarian slowpokes that stole Clara's dojo uniform. So let's get into this. Cutscene time. Oh, Squatch, welcome back. Clara is back too. Yo, you, don't tell me you got my uniform back on your own. Yes, I did. Here you go. You gave the dojo uniform to Clara. Oh, well, uh, thanks. Well mustard, squatched. Squatched. Oh, wait. Well mustard, squatched. <laughs> you cleared the first trial like it was nothing. Why, I think this is the first time since Leon that someone was able to handle all three fast slowpoke on their own. Yes, sir. The rest of you tried very hard, too. You were able to catch up to the slowpoke, but I guess you couldn't defeat them. I could. Ugh. Tell you what, anyone who was able to catch up to a slowpoke at least once gets a pass. Squatch really outdid himself, so it's only fair everyone else gets another chance. Try to make a comeback, everyone. Oh, how generous. Sigh. Either way, I'm still out. Oh, that reminds me. Honey, where are those little ones? Oh, that's right, darling. I had nearly forgotten. Squirtle, Bulbasaur. Come on in, sweeties. Oh, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. Oh, look at them. They're running in. It's so adorable. Now, you could get Charmander in the base game, and you could import Squirtle and Bulbasaur after Pokemon Home came out, but uh, they are here now. Trip. Fine. Uh, these are our sweet little Pokemon, Bulbasaur and Squirtle. We've all been taking care of them together, and I'd say they're more than a little curious about your strength as a trainer. Why don't you pick one to keep for yourself? You did succeed in the trial after all, so you only get one of them. It looks like you only get one. And just so you know, these two have been raised in a very special way. When they evolve, they'll be able to Gigantamax, just like the Charmander that you got at the end of the game after you became champion. So you only get to pick one now. I almost never pick Squirtle or Bulbasaur for anything because I'm such a Charizard fan. Oh, look at them smile when you walk up to them. That's so, ah, so adorable. I am going to go, all right, Bulbasaur is my first pick in Pokemon Go. I'm going to go Bulbasaur. V. No, no. No, no. You know what? I want the I want the multi blaster shell Squirtle. I changed my mind. <laughs> I juked ya. I juked ya. We're going with Squirtle. Squirt. You became my Pokemon. Thank you, Squirtle, for becoming my Pokemon. Squirtle's data will be added to the Pokedex. Squirtle has been sent to a box. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the free Squirtle. Hey, little guy. I chose Sobble, I know, at the beginning, so I already had water type, but Squirtle looks pleased as punch that you chose it. Remember that your new Pokemon will be able to Gigantamax once it has fully evolved, so be sure to raise it well. Dynamaxing, a mysterious phenomenon unique to the Pokemon of Galar. And then there's Gigantamaxing, a very special way of Dynamaxing for a very special Pokemon. Their moves change, of course, but their appearances change, too. Speaking of Gigantamax, there's the secret recipe of the Master Dojo. Drinking it makes, your makes you gigantic and strong. I call it Max Soup. We've heard about this. So this is the Max Soup is what you can give your Pokemon to give them the ability to Gigantamax. I'd love to have a bowl of Max Soup full of Max Mushrooms right, around, right about now. It sure has been a while. Hmm. And that's why your second trial shall be Mushroom Picking. Max Mushrooms are the key to Gigantamaxing, and I'm tasking you with finding three. I hate Mushrooms. Max mushrooms are red with a spiral pattern. I'm pretty sure they grow in dark, humid places. And with that, your next trial begins. I'm counting on you. Oh, whoa. And don't you worry, Bulbasaur. I'll be sure to raise you with lots of love. Aw, I'll make you oh so strong so you'll never lose to Squirtle. Tee hee hee. Bulba. Miss Honey, if you want that Pokemon to learn new moves, you can leave that to me. Well, aren't you just the sweetest thing? That lovely lad is always so kind. Give him a bit of armor right ore, and he'll teach your darling new Pokemon a new move. You should give it a try. I don't have any. Oh, I got five pieces of armor right ore now. Okay. You put the pieces of armor right ore in your bag's other items pocket. 
Rare ore that can be obtained on the Isle of Armor. Something good will happen if you give it to a collector on the Isle of Armor. Okay. So then, let me see. I've completely obsessed with moves. Under the supervision of my master, I've been developing new Pokemon moves day and night. I've spent a lot of time developing many moves. I'll teach your Pokemon a move for a small token of gratitude. Shall I teach a Pokemon for five? It takes five to teach a move. All right, let's do... Oh, okay, so we have Terrain Pulse, Burning Jealousy, Flip Turn. After making its attack, the user rushes back to switch places. So it's a water type. That's like U-Turn, but water. Rising Voltage. The user attacks with an electric voltage rising from the ground. This moves doubles within the target when the target is on an electric train. Grassy Glide. I think I've read about that. Triple Axle. Constructed consecutive three kick attack that becomes more powerful with each successful hit. That's an ice move. Interesting. Coaching. This uh, coaches the ally Pokemon, boosting their attack and defense. Corrosive Gas. The user surrounds everything around it with highly acidic gas and melts away items that they hold. Scorching Sands. Leaves them with a burn. Oh, interesting. That's a ground type move. I think Colossal can learn that. Oh, I want to learn that. Maybe. We'll we'll look at the rest. Dual wing beat. The user slams its target with its wings. Their heart it hits twice a row. Okay. Expanding force. The user attacks the target with psychic power. This moves power goes up and damages all opposing Pokemon on a psychic terrain. Skitter smack. The user skitters behind the target to attack. This also lowers the target's special attack. That's a bug move. Interesting. Meteor Beam, which is a rock move. A two-turn attack gathers space power and boosts its special attack and attacks the target on the next turn. Interesting. Poltergeist, a ghost move. The user attacks the target by controlling the target's item. Really? The move fails if the target doesn't have an item. Interesting. Scale shot, a dragon attack. This user attacks by shooting scales two to five times in a row. Interesting. Lash out, a dark move. A user lashes out, defensive frustration. Its stats were lower than their turn, and its powers double. Steel roller, the user attacks while destroying the terrain. This fails when the ground hasn't turned into a terrain. Interesting. Misty explosion, this user attacks, the user attacks everything, and it faints upon using this move. This move's power is increased on misty terrain. So that's a fairy type move, and it's like explosion, but fairy type. Interesting. I want to teach this scorching sands to colossal. And I'm going to replace Rock Slide with it. Okay, so we'll try out that move. We got to find more Armorite Ore, though. You want me to teach a move? Come back with a small token of gratitude. Okay, what's this? Through these doors, entering for any reason other than battle, strictly forbidden. Interesting. Okay, we got to go find these mushrooms. Sorry, not sorry, but I haven't accepted you as the hash that everyone else seems to think you are. You better think again if you think I'm going to let you finish this trial before me, mate. Oh, she's, she's heading out. Okay. Hey, Squatch. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, it just dawned on me that you're brand new to the Isle of Armor. I bet you have no idea where the, to even begin looking for max mushrooms. Come on, let's go for a walk and I'll show you some mushroom hotspots. Okay, so he's gonna sh he's gonna sh walk us there. We don't even have to find it. Dum dum d d. <laughs> he's just humming along, I guess. All right, so we're going through there now. Usually, the force to focus is chock full of max mushrooms, but the thing is, the swarm of greed ain't came through in a every last one here. So I'm thinking maybe you'll have more luck finding max mushrooms if you go check warm warm up tunnel. It's out on the other side of the forest. Okay. Just watch where you're going in the forest, okay? It's easy to get lost. Anywho, good luck with the hunt for max mushrooms. Catch you back at the dojo. Forest of focus. Okay, Amoongus is back. Amoongus is back. Who's this? Digger lady? Hello, people call me Diggin' Ma. Have you seen Diggin' Pa? I enjoy digging in the thrill of digging with my lovely shovel. My digging friend. I feel like giving you a piece of armor right or oh, thank you. But no, I'll give you a chance. Oh, you could receive it or you could use it as a payment to have me dig to see if I could find even more. However, if my lovely shovel breaks while I'm digging, you won't get anything. Interesting. I do need to ask you quickly to save your progress first because but if you're seeking some thrills, why not try your luck with me? Sure. Digging always comes with risks. It's unavoidable. Brace yourself. Okay, here I go. This is just like the digging brothers. 
Ah, sorry, I hit a hard rock and my lovely shovel broke. Oh, no, I didn't get anything. Uh, such is life. Anyway, see you again somewhere. Oh, jeez. All right, here's the Pokedex lady again. Let's see. 100 watts, which I have loads of watts, so this is fine. All right, who's she going to show us? Psyduck. Psyduck is back. Sweet. I do like Psyduck. Again, a lot of Generation 1 Pokemon are back again. They keep doing that. <laughs> There's a big mushroom. That's not the max mushroom. On yard. He's been in the game already. All right. We got an item up here. I'm not a big fan of the Amoongas, so. Or Moongas. Hyper Potion. All right. Ooh. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to go grab this TM or TR. Whichever one it is. Sludge Wave. Okay. Oh, look, there's a Scallopede. Oh, I used Scallopede in my Pokemon Black playthrough. Oh, it's one of my favorites from Gen 5. Tangela! Tangela's here. Hi, Tangela. What is that sound? What the? Okay. It's just a Fungus. Okay. I'm not going to catch anything right now. I was trying to figure out what that sound was. I guess it's Venipede? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Oh, man. That Scallopede is so cool. All right. So we got to go through to the tunnel. Oh, there's a Pikachu. Hi, Pikachu. 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 That's always cool. Leafstone. Thank you. Pikachu. Hi, Pikachu. That's very cool. All right. All right. Um, I'm just running through because I don't want to just ride my bike through and miss something, you know? There's Crawdon. I could ride around the water thing. I'm not going to explore everything right now. There's the cave up there. That's where I'm heading for is that cave up along the way. He got you. I got another Galerica twig. It's for a specific Pokemon. I just don't know what one. Training Lowlands, Isle of Armor. Okay. That's how you get up to one of the... Oh, Tauros. Hi, Tauros. Lillipop. Hi. Scyther. Come here, Scyther. I want you. Come here. No, not you, Lillipop. I want Scyther. Oh, I don't want to fight it. I'm going to try to quick ball it. I'm so glad Scyther is back because I want to use Scizor very badly. Caught it. Thank you. Hello, Scyther. This is why you buy Quick Balls. Scyther is back. Scyther is back. Sweet. Okay. All right. I need to get to the tunnel. I want to find these max mushrooms. See how that works. Kangaskhan! All right. I've never really used Lillipup. Lillipup is uh, a Gen 5 Pokemon. Pretty sure. I don't have anything against it. It's just kind of... I don't know. I feel like its design was pretty boring. Kangaskhan is back, though. That's kind of cool. There's Stoutland. That's the little pup's final evolution. Moo Moo Milk on the ground. That was actually kind of cool. Another Scyther. Pinsir! Hey, Pinsir's back. Look at that. It's all Gen 1 Pokemon because they are so obsessed with them. I hear... I've been looking for a Galarian Pokemon. Maybe you have a Zigzagoon? Would you give a Galarian Zigzagoon? Oh, she'll give you a, a regular Zigzagoon if you... A Hoenn Zigzagoon. Who's this dude? They call me Diggin' Pa. Oh, I've met I've met um, his wife then. Haven't gotten any Armorite ore, have you? No. If you just give us a few pieces of that ore, if I'm almost a little straight to work. You know what? Our meeting feels like a real stroke of luck. I'll give... If you give up some Watts for free? Okay. He digs up watts. She digs up armorite ore. That's cool. 2,000 watts. 
3,000 watts. Nah, that's fine. That's a lot of watts. I don't really need a torque pole. Which has already been in the game. Hey, I found a Lola Diglett. Hi. Da da. Return to his trainer. Find two more Diglett in this tunnel. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Sanchu! Come here! Sanchu's one of my favorites! Sanchu's in the game! I know it's a Gen 1 Pokemon like half the other ones added, but he's all time one of my favorites. Oh, I'm so excited to have Sanchu again. Oh, I'm so excited. Sandshrew was caught. Thank you for bringing Sandshrew back. Oh, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh. All right, here's the max mushroom. This is the max mushroom. Yes, I want to pick them. Hold up a sec. What? What's going on? Oh, Clara. What's going on? No? Please, please. Hello, what's this? Three max mushrooms in one spot? Here. Uh, here I thought I'd need to go find them by one. I saw those mushrooms first, I swear. Uh, I've been at the dojo longer and all, so it's only fair you let me have them, right? Sure, you can have them. Wait, what's this now? Are you giving me attitude? Pitying me, are you? Gosh, you're a pain in the neck. You just show up out of nowhere and just happen to be young and talented. If you're looking to get in my way, well, I think some vile poisons will take care of that. All right, we're going to battle her now. So this is Clara battle number two. Let's see if she's got any different Pokemon. Slowpose. Is it still level 60? She's got a third Pokemon now. Let's set the record straight. I'll show you once and for all that I'm a better trainer. Okay. It's level 62. It's leveled up a little bit. Not, not a whole lot. Oh, I can't believe... I got so excited to see Shantru. All right, slow focus down. All right, she had a Venipede before. All right, I get it. Just keep leveling up slow poke, I guess. Coughing. She's got a coughing. Okay, that makes sense. So she went and caught a coughing. So she'll have a glaring wheezing eventually. A poison fairy type. So that's that's pretty good because she's the poison type specialist. Coughing's down. Level 62. Again, the scaling is not really there. Whirlipede. Oh, uh, well, like, it, it's sad that I could just breeze through this with just Inteleon. Like, <laughs> sh it should not be this easy. Oh, wait, Whirlipede. Okay, she evolved it then. Good for her. She evolved her Venipede into Whirlipede. So that means she'll have Scallopede. There we go. Whirlipede down. Gonna, like, this is just too easy. I, I was worried about this. I was worried it was going to be easy. Wants to move Surf? Nah, it, th it doesn't get a type advantage, so. I got some money for beating her. All right, I guess I get the mushrooms then. Since... Arr, why can't I win? I'm trying as hard as I can. What am I missing? Fine, you have to, you can have those silly mushrooms. I'm going to find better ones anyway. Okay, so there. Nah. I don't know if that's how she actually sounds, but all right, we're going to grab the mushrooms. Three clusters of max mushrooms. Mushrooms have the power of changing Dynamax forms. They boost all stats of Pokemon during battle. Beep, beep, beep. What was... Oh, the phone. Hello, hello. Is this Squatch's phone? How's the trial coming along, love? Easy peasy. You mean you've already managed to find three max mushrooms? Yep. I've been checking in on everybody's progress, but it seems you're in first place once again. You really are our new rising star, aren't you? I suppose I better go put the pot on the stove, but you be careful on your way back. Ciao. I wonder if that means we'll encounter something on the way back. Cubone! Another, another Gen 1 Pokemon. Just why? Why is it all Generation 1 Pokemon? All right, I'm going to catch this Cubone. And then I think that's going to wrap up part four. All right, critical catch. Thank you, Quick Balls. Gotta love Quick Balls. Yeah. All right. Actually, for the last part of this, I think we're gonna look at uh, we're gonna find the other Lola Diglets because there's another one here. Daytona. Okay. So 
One more dig late and warm up tunnel. Got a, a quick ball, another quick ball to replace the one that I just used. And we got a TR here, Stealth Rock. Okay. I like the echo in this. this that's kind of cool. Sand true. Oh, here's the other one. All right. I'm not going to go forward anymore. Diglett. Yeah. All right. Return. Found all the ones that are in the warm up tunnel. Okay. I am not going to go forward anymore because I don't want to spoil anything for myself. Um, so that's where we're going to stop it for now. Uh, tune in for part five coming shortly.